Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one and that is going to be on my experience as a woman in tech and in cybersecurity. So I've seen a lot of these types of experience videos, but obviously I know not everyone in my audience is a woman or identifies as a woman. And while I know there are always going to be two sides of the same coin, I still think that these experiences, I guess, that I'm going to be talking about today would be helpful for anyone who's starting in their career, as well as if you're in any other minority group in tech, if you're a person of color, if you're in underrepresented minority you may also be going through very similar experiences and i would also love to hear any stories you guys might have in the comments below as well and to kick off this video i do think that the majority or 95 to 99 even percent of the experience i've had as someone who's been working in tech working in cybersecurity for about three years and prior to that as a stem student most of it honestly has been very positive so just as a disclaimer and this video isn't meant to make you not want to be in cybersecurity or in tech if you're a woman watching this it's more so to hopefully learn from my experiences and some of the things that i could have done better as well and also by no means is this a bash on any of my teams, any of my companies, any person that I've worked with in the past. This is just a general video of my experience. Okay, so with all of that, the first thing I wanted to talk about is admin work. And when I say admin work, I mean scheduling meetings, taking notes on the call, always being the person to get called on to plan something, an event. So I know in your early career, it's kind of stereotypical that you have to climb the ladder and you start off doing menial tasks or small things that people on the team typically don't want to do. So I'm not saying that only women in tech face this, but I do think that it is slightly more heightened. For example, I talked to past teammates or past coworkers about their experiences, specifically around joining a team as a cybersecurity analyst or basically as as an entry-level cybersecurity person expecting to be able to learn as much as they can in their new role but it turns out that a lot of the things that they're kind of stuck with dealing with are managing the JIRA board or making sure that they're taking notes in every meeting and every meeting that they're on they're the designated note taker or after each team meeting you may be the person who is asked to schedule the next one basically doing admin tasks or administrative work that's very non-technical and not really related to any cybersecurity or anything related to your job requirements or job description and that's something that i've seen and experienced firsthand and i've also talked to a lot of people with this exact same experience or they feel like they were hired for a role but it feels like they're not really doing the technical or cybersecurity related things that they were expecting to do on the job. But again, as I said, these experiences really are two sides of the same coin, where in one case, maybe everyone else on my team is just busier with their work, which kind of makes sense, especially if I'm the newest one on the team. Or maybe you're someone like me who is very bad at saying no, even to the things that you don't really want to do or aren't really helping you learn in any significant way. And this brings me into my next point about needing to prove yourself at your job a lot more than someone who may be a typical person that you might see working at a tech job. This was something that I dealt with a lot, especially in the first year of my career, just because just because I felt like I had to really prove myself to my manager, to my team, to everyone that I work with that was able and capable enough to do the job. I've even sat in on meetings where there may have been another person who started at the same time as me or a very similar time, who was not a woman in tech, who also graduated college at the same time as me with the same credentials and education. And during the meetings that we sat on, it was always my name that was brought up when and people were asking things like, oh, did you understand that part? Oh, Sandra, do you need any more clarification on that? Did you get that? When those same types of questions were never asked to the male counterpart in a similar role as me and, and with the exact same years of experience, which was almost none. So that was definitely something that I really took to heart in the beginning and it made me feel like, am I not understanding this right? Is there something I need to kind of brush up on or learn more of? It really just gets you into a mindset of comparing yourself to others at a really early stage in your career. And I definitely think it's not healthy, especially when proving yourself leads to leads to taking on extra work and putting in more hours at your day job than you really need to, and then leading to burnout. And the next one on this list is definitely a pretty big pet peeve of mine and that is negating someone's intelligence based on the way they look and while this isn't something that people have ever directly done to my face this definitely happened a lot more when i was a student and i would tell people what my major was and people would say things like oh you didn't look like someone who would be a developer because somehow there is a stereotype that even if a woman is in tech or in stem they are assumed to be a project manager or a business analyst or some kind of non-technical role and this is also something i get in my comments on my youtube channel and i typically don't take these comments to heart but especially when it's common saying things like don't look like the type to be working in cybersecurity oh you're too pretty to be working 
in STEM. And while I don't think that these comments are really coming from a place of negativity, I do think that it definitely doesn't help that there is a stereotypical way that people expect a person in STEM or a person in tech to look like. Which also brings me to my next point in this video and that is you're typically going to be one of the few women or minority groups and I believe cybersecurity is actually one of the sectors in technology that have even less women in the field and less minority groups and i think that's something that is definitely changing i mean just based on the comments i get from you guys there's honestly a lot of diversity in terms of just this community who's interested in cybersecurity on this channel just because i know the more diversity that we have in cybersecurity the better obviously there's lots of research out there done that more diverse teams perform better do better work and there's more and more companies that are actually creating diversity programs or different groups for different groups they're specifically focusing on a growing talent that is in different minority groups whether it's based on gender race neurodiversity and, and so many other diverse groups that companies are starting to focus their hiring efforts into and having more women in tech isn't just to fill up a statistic that you know you have a larger percentage of women in your company it really is for representation and showing the next generation of, of girls that if they want to become a software engineer they can or if they want to become an astrophysicist then they can also do that the main point about the lack of representation is just the fact that if someone may not have that influence or someone they look up to in a specific field that is that is in stem or is in some kind of technical role then it's a lot harder to see yourself especially as a younger girl who may be in middle school high school who may be thinking about what career they might potentially want to go into if there's a lack of representation in those roles then that may not be something that they consider as much as other roles that are typically represented in the media for women to go into and this also brings me into into my next topic and this is also something that definitely grinds my gears a little bit and that is a comment that you only got the job because you're a woman and i also see this a lot in my comments especially the comments from my videos that talk about my job how i got my job my current salary with people saying things like well you only got the job because you're a woman and companies are really trying to hire women and while i do think that it's true that companies are trying to push for more diverse workforces it's also the fact that this person didn't bring up anything about my background my experiences my previous internships any of my qualifications that i previously had but instead they bring up just the fact that i am a woman so that is why i got the job but if anything i feel like it should be seen in a way where companies are expanding their cybersecurity teams and their teams in tech outside of just the typical hiring pool which maybe 50 years ago was just was just Caucasian men and now it could be a Hispanic woman or an African American man or someone who is in the LGBT community so I guess the double-edged sword of comments like that just means that I guess more companies are hiring diverse candidates and and if that's something that people are thinking then obviously that means that change is happening and people are seeing that more minorities are getting hired into these tech roles. I feel like when making videos like this it definitely feels like I'm kind of walking through a landmine just because just because I don't want to step on anyone's toes but I also want to give an accurate depiction of my actual experience as a woman working in STEM but again this is just my experience. I'm sure someone else can have a completely different experience depending on the company, the team structure that they're working on, even the country that they're working in obviously will make a very big impact on the way that their work experience is. So if you're someone who is also a woman in tech or a woman in cybersecurity, you may have had completely opposite experiences compared to me, or you may have had worse experiences. They could have been really positive, really negative, or anywhere in between. And that really is the beauty of sharing your experiences. So even if this is just helpful to one person who is currently in high school and maybe are not sure about going to computer science or cybersecurity, but they are even slightly interested in it, all I want is to give some insight on that experience. And hopefully this can be helpful to someone out there. Alright, the last thing on this list is something that I'm sure all of you guys have heard about and that is the gender pay gap. So there are many statistics out there about unequal pay and, and especially the pay disparities between women and men and these pay disparities only get wider if you are a woman and also a race minority or another underrepresented group. And sure, in the beginning of your career, maybe $5,000 in terms of a pay gap 
doesn't make a huge difference at all you really only begin to see the differences when you are actually starting to climb in your career there are lots of statistics out there about the growth of the gender pay gap and how it really makes a difference in your mid and late careers where a woman working in a senior level role may be making five figure differences from a male counterpart in a same role with the same title and responsibilities and while this isn't necessarily something that companies are doing purposely hopefully most of the time it really does go back to the fact to the fact that men are more likely to negotiate for salary compared to women and i really think that's just a cultural thing when it comes to to how society raises girls versus boys and i'm not going to go into that whole debate about about this entire topic because that would just be too much but i do think that it does correlate to the way that women negotiate or receive salaries or choose the careers that they go into and it even goes back to the fact that for a role that requests five years of experience a woman who sees that job posting is not going to apply if they don't have five years of experience but a man who has similar credentials that also doesn't have five years of experience will still apply so there may be times when a woman is qualified for a job but maybe they meet 80 percent of requirements and don't meet the last 20 and they won't apply for the job but let's say their male counterparts may have 50 percent of the qualifications and they'll still apply for the job and there are lots of statistics and studies out there on this that are really interesting to read if you guys want to do some research on these topics even if you're not a woman in stem i still think diversity should be important to you because it's your mothers your sisters your daughters that will eventually be joining the job force so pay equality really does benefit everyone not just women in tech but the entire sector as a whole okay so this was about 40 minutes of filming it will probably be cut down to about 10 minutes just because i feel like i took so many pauses i know many of you guys on this channel may not identify as a woman in tech or even a minority group but hopefully this can kind of give you some insight into into some of my experiences and things that i've seen and heard from other working professionals in cybersecurity and in tech and you may be a Caucasian male and still have had similar or the same experiences as me so I'm definitely not trying to negate anyone's experiences here but hopefully sharing more of our individual stories can help shape the tech sector or the cybersecurity sector in a better way to just to just make work environments a better place for everyone to be because obviously people are spending 40 plus hours a week at their day jobs and you just want it to be a good experience for everyone that's there and if you have any stories that you want to share in the comments below please feel free to drop them and i would love to start a conversation down there we also have a discord channel where we share everything from our career experiences job opportunities capture the flags and everything like that so i also have that link down below in the description if you want to check that out and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye